Okay, you're watching this. Ouch, 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 ouch. Ooh, because your cat needs to have his nails stripped. Ah, that was perfect, kitty. I wasn't even in the script, but you ad lib very well. We're going to teach you how to clip your kitty's nails. It actually should be done because they get too long. They'll even poke into the cat's own feet, I'm told. I've never let it go that far. The other problem is your cat can get your his or her nails caught in furniture and carpet and upholstery and things. So it's not only for your sake, it's definitely for your cat's sake as well. So here is how you're going to trim your kitty's nails. You need a small pet nail trimmer and you need some treats. And you might want to file it down after you clip them. Major important um, safety tip is that when you trim their nails, do not cut too far up where it hits what would be equal to your cuticle. Can you imagine trimming up too far where there's not even your cuticle, but where there's blood supply? Well, just like you have blood supply under your fingernail, the cat has blood supply to their nails, too. And it's basically just calcium until you get back too far where there's blood supply that makes that grow. When you're trimming the nails, you're trimming the dead calcium uh, and other components. You're basically the dead toenail. Um, and for cats, get them used to playing with their feet, which unless you do that ever since they were kittens, they're not going to like it much. They don't like their feet touched. This cat grew up with his feet being touched. In fact, sometimes he puts his paw in my hand as a sign of affection. Um, he'll just come out and do that. Um, and Yes, you are showing the love, aren't you? Does that mean I should brush my teeth? Hmm? Okay, so to expose the nail, you basically want to get them so that his hind feet doesn't dig into you. That hurts. And, of course, the, um, to expose each nail, you gently push on the pad, and you see how they come out. And that doesn't hurt the cat unless they're fighting you. And if they're fighting you, um, you may have to wrap them up in a towel and expose one foot at a time where the towel is obstructing all the rest. And then you won't get hurt. Okay, so you basically just expose it. This cat's very used to it, so this is going to be super easy for me. Which is why I'm using him to demonstrate for you. If your cat's fighting you, then start giving him treats, spending lap time, and slowly get him into it. If you have to wrestle him down, to get long nails for their health or take them to the vet that's what you're going to have to do but because their nails continually grow until they either break break off which is really bad for your cat if they break off uh, too far up into that cuticle area I don't know if it's called cuticle technically but if it breaks off too high up they could get infection especially if they're an outdoor cat the importance is trimming their front nails uh, some places I've read say don't worry about the back nails well, I disagree because those continue to grow too and you may have to take it one nail at a time and give them a break in between simply you just aim this tool the correct way that goes with the curve of the nail and I know you're not up close let's see if you can see that isn't that cute so you you aim this so that it goes with the curve of the nail and you see how that comes out like that and it's a smaller one it's appropriate for the cat and you definitely don't get too high. You could go either way, but you're going to go the way that... Actually, I use a human toenail clipper. This is the first time I've used a commercial pet one. And he's hating this one. So that tells you that, that the human toenail clipper might actually be a, a better product for your cat. But basically, yeah, this one's actually a piece of junk. Um, I'm going to switch over. So when you buy these, you might get ripped off like I did. I get this one. It is brand new. It's nice and sharp. But 
it, it's perhaps not even small enough. Although the ones I've seen, well, it says it's for a cat, but it isn't working. So we're going to switch over and get a human toenail clipper. It's actually kind of funny. A bird sees the cat here. Well, now he quit. And he was chirping so loud I couldn't even uh, give you the instructional video. I hate wearing glasses, but for something like this, it's important for the cat safety. And he's getting a little riley because he wants to go play. There, that one works so much better. I'll get up closer so you can see. You only have a certain time limit to do this. And then the cat will become disinterested and want to go play. And I would say don't fight them. You don't want to make it an unpleasant experience. And you don't want them to scratch you. And, hey baby, encourage them a little bit. You don't want to miss and clip something like cut them. Because that could open it up to infection. Think of where cat's feet go. Yeah, like the litter box. Dirt and whatnot. There's one. And I do it outside. Because I don't like trying to find sharp little kitty nails. I do this about once a week. Once every two weeks at the latest, at the most. If you want to use a file to... Oh, honey, yes, you're a good boy. Um, if you want to use a file to file it down just a little bit, you could do that. Well, we've got to go the right way, like that. The hole shows. Ooh, yeah, you're getting a catacure. Is that like a pedicure for cats? Oh yeah, he likes that actually. Don't forget that your cat has a, it's the one that always hooks you like I have this scratch. It's what would be the equivalent to the thumb. Don't forget your cat has one up here. On a dog it's called a dew claw. On a cat, I don't know what it would be called. A cat claw? I don't know. I suppose that would be appropriate. But it's harder to get that one to stick out. And when you get on the ready to clip, hold still just for a second to make sure he's not moving so that you can get it effectively. You don't have to do the file down thing, and if you don't have one of these pet file downs, don't worry about it. He'll go right to the scratching post and he'll take care of the file down himself. So I'm going to leave. He's getting a little riley. I'm going to leave, and the dog wants to play. I'm going to leave his hind feet for a different time, and he will appreciate it. But look at this. There's a temptation. No, not for you. Go. <laughs> I didn't clip your nails yet. You're next, buddy. The dog, well, girly. I guess it's a girl dog. Stay. Sit. Be firm with the dog. Look at what I got for you. Yes. You let me trim your nails. Each time you're going to get a treat. Which is probably why you're so patient. I think it's funny cats can't see up close, so they have to find it with their whiskers and their sense of smell. You're a good boy, aren't you? So that, folks, is how you trim your cat's toenails. My worthy assistant will, well, she's my daughter, she'll take the kitty to his next destination. I have to give him a bath. Bath? Yeah. Why not? Basically, don't bathe cats unless they have fleas. It's bad for their hair. They have their coat has such a nice, nice uh, oil to it that you don't want to give them a bath. It's, unless you use pet shampoo and there's a reason, like they roll them poop. Oh yeah, dogs do that. Cats don't do that. Look, Sadie, birds. Come here, Sadie. Let's get your nails trimmed. Yeah, someone's not so enthusiastic. Sit, sit with the dog. I'm going to go back to the, this one, because this is for dogs too, and you will notice her pretty nails. Look at those pretty nails. Yes, my daughter paint her toenails. Let's see if we can clip one. She's not as good as the cat is about this. Good girl. Yeah, this is a, a cheap nail clipper, because it is not working at all. In fact, I'm just going to go throw it away. You're done. You're a good girl. Yep. Piece of junk. You go to the pet store, don't buy like I fell for. And buy a piece of junk.